the third story I want to talk about today is Kyle Murray, Oklahoma University quarterback, won the Heisman Trophy. Uh, should be the greatest day of his life. I mean, he played a really good season. You know, he probably worked his whole life from the time he was like 10 years old to be the best quarterback in college football. And, you know, you know what liberal media does and the, and the liberal mafia, the gay mafia. You know what they do the second that you have success in life, whether you're Kevin Hart, even though you've been pretty much bending over to liberal media your whole life, whether you're Dave Chappelle, it doesn't matter. I mean, everyone gets thrown under the bus. They don't even wait 24 hours to try to ruin this kid's life. They brought up tweets from when he was 14 and 15 and called them homophobic tweets. And this really bothers me for multiple reasons. But the first one being, I don't like when people call people racist, sexist, xenophobic, and homophobic if they're not homophobic. Because what this actually does is it covers up real homophobia. It covers up real racism, sexism, and xenophobia. I'll give you an example I always use. In, Amer in America, liberal media spends all their time calling everyone who's conservative, Donald Trump, this, that person, they say everyone's racist. But what they ignore is real racism, like the fact that Obama and Hillary Clinton, this is just real. They went to Libya, they killed the leader, they literally funded rebel groups which turned into extremists or were extremists or empowered extremists, and slavery and slave trade and organ harvesting took place in that region. So what's more racist, a tweet from somebody from seven years ago that they spend a month talking about or literal Islamic extremists enslaving Africans in Libya like last year, this year, I don't know if it's still going on. It, what's more racist, slavery or someone's feelings about how they feel? Like political correctness and this, this fake outrage culture has real life consequences. It literally empowers racism, sexism, and xenophobia. So for Kyle Murray, he said the word queers, and I read his uh, I read his his comments. Some of them were derogatory, He's like you guys are queers. Some of them were actually like not derogatory. He said, "You guys are queers. I feel you though." Like he's just joking around with his friends. First off, I want to say there's a show called Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Like people love that show. It's a it's a gay positive show. So why not take down Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? It says the word queer. I I, I don't. I mean queer eye. Like what what do they mean by that? Do they mean like he's gay and bat like he's got an eye for a straight like take the whole show down take down it i mean it doesn't but also he was 14 or 15 years old I, I don't think he was using it in a negative way we used to tell jokes on the back of the bus i had one jewish friend we had one indian friend we had one asian friend and we used to tell messed up jokes and we didn't even know what they meant if i had a twitter when i was 15 i probably would have said one of the jokes on twitter and thought it was hilarious and it, some of them were, some of them weren't, but overall, it's like we used to just make fun of each other and no one, no one cared. Uh, now, all of a sudden, they're trying to ruin this poor kid's life the second that he wins a Heisman Trophy. And, and people need to really wake up. That's going to be my final story, but liberal culture is not liberal. They, literally, what they do is they destroy any American who says anything that offends their feeling the opposite of Eastern philosophy, which Jack touts so highly on his Twitter, like literally the opposite. And they empower the most homophobic people in the world. I mean, Christians, a uh, percentage of Christians are, don't believe marriage is between a man and a woman, and a lot of people believe that, and it's okay. People can have their opinions on what they think marriage is, but now it's federal law, so it doesn't really matter. But in other countries, like, you think homophobia is bad here from Christians and people who make gay jokes here? Go to Iran. Go to Saudi Arabia. Go to Pakistan. Go to certain parts of Africa. You'll find out what true homophobia is. It's being murdered, fired, jailed, or thrown off a roof because you're gay. So what doesn't make sense about the liberal gay mafia that is now taking over Hollywood because everybody's too cowardly and afraid to say something because they're afraid they're going to get me too next and they probably right they're probably right they probably will the big problem is it's not actually helping gay people i actually have a lot of gay friends okay i i go to west hollywood and they say anomaly we like your videos you know what i'm saying I, i'm a, it's all good in the gay hood the gay people gay community has love for anomaly but i care cuz i don't want gay people in Los Angeles, I don't want gay people in San Francisco, and I don't want gay people in New York City and all over America to be hurt by this ideology that gay liberal people are desperate to bring in. It's like they hate Christians, but they love uh, they love extremist Muslims, and I'm not 
a normal right-wing person. I'm not saying all Muslims are extremists. I have Muslims who watch this uh, thing. I have Muslim friends who follow me on, on uh, Instagram and they're not extremists. I think a high percentage of, of Muslims are not extremists, but there are hundreds of millions, if not tens of millions of people who are extreme, who hate gay people even more than Christians hate gay people. So if you're gonna really stand up for gay people, you can't get mad at Kyle Murray for making a joke when he was 14 or 15 years old and then desperately try to lobby to import a culture and tens of thousands of people who hate gay people. Like it doesn't actually make sense. I mean, it, it, I, it's really creeping me out. And it's like, you go to these countries and even parts of uh, Europe now, like I always talk about UK and Sweden, they have no go zones, which means don't go there because you're not gonna be treated liberally. You're, they're not gonna like you if you're gay. They're not gonna look at you nice if you're a woman if you're a woman and you don't abide by their rules, and like I said, I'm not saying all Muslims, I'm not saying all of Islam, but a lot of, a large group of people, they don't look at you like, oh, you're a cool liberal woman because you have your nipples thrown through your shirt and you're so revolutionary because you shaved your hair and dyed it like orange. Like, that's cool, do that. But you can do that in America because it's a Judeo-Christian slash now slowly turning atheist Nathan, nation or whatever. But like, you can do that in America because of our culture, because of who we are, because of, you know, the white Christians that you hate so much. You can't do that. And like you walk down the street in the UK or, or certain parts of Sweden, they don't look at you like you're, you're so great and you deserve a Grammy. They look at you like you're uh, a traitor. They look at you and think, hmm, how can we cover you up? Because it's disgusting that you show your face to everybody. Uh, put this on, put on a hijab or a burqa. That's where you belong. They don't think gay things. Actually, that's something that you know heavily Christian and heavily Muslim people uh, can get along with. They don't uh, agree with gay culture. And here's the thing: I'm open for discussion. Like I don't care. Like if someone says I don't like the fact that you're straight, I think you should be gay. I don't care. Like I'm straight. I'm not gay, and that's okay. Like I I don't care that someone thinks I'm a bad person because I'm straight whatever, like you can have the discussion about why you think it's terrible, but like gay and liberal people, it's like they're wrong about a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not saying your sexuality, like you can determine your own morals and your own sexuality, but like their political ideology is wrong about almost everything, which is fine to be wrong, but it's not okay to be fine to be wrong about everything and attack everybody who makes jokes, attack the Heisman winner, attack Kevin Hart, attack this person, attack that person, and then censor and silence out all dissenting opinion. It's like the most epic, pathetic fail ever. I don't understand why they're doing it. God bless Kyle Murray. Someone stand up. I'm so tired of entertainment industry. Have a backbone. Like, just say I'm not sorry. Just be like, you know what? I made these jokes. I said this when I'm young, and it, like, it is what it is. Like, I was 15 years old. Why are people cowering? When you cower, you're not gonna get liberal utopia. You're not gonna get gay utopia. You're going to turn America into a third world country. The entire left wing agenda, although they pretend like they love gay people and they love black people so much, they don't care. Why didn't Kyle Murray just say he was gay? Just be like, oh, I'm gay. I meant it like queer eye for the straight guy. He should have said he was Muslim and called him Islamophobic. He should have said he's black and that they're racist. I don't use their own identity politics against him. Be like, are you racist? That's what Kevin Hart should do. That's what Nick Cannon and stuff are doing. Because it's true, they don't actually care about you if you're black or you're gay. They can't stand, it's like an angry mob. Uh, but overall, that's the story. I wanna go on to the last one real quick. Kyle Murray won the Heisman Trophy. And here's, here's another thing they do with the Google algorithms before I end on. Kyle, Kyle Murray won the Heisman Trophy. You should be searching and see all the glory of the amazing football season that he had. I mean, that's what it's about, he won the Heisman. When you search on Google now, the entire algorithm is, is rigged to have mainstream media. So you'll see CNN and Washington Post. All you can find about is how he's homophobic. So they ruin your life and they algorithm you to hell. Like they, they control what people see. They control information. So you can't even find a single article just talking about what happened. It's all framing it in a negative light. Welcome to the life of Trump. Welcome to the life of being a white man. Welcome to the life of being a white woman who voted for Trump. Welcome to the life of being a Christian. Welcome to the world of being libertarian and conservative. Welcome to the world of being a normal liberal. Welcome to the world of being just a man because they don't like men. Their agenda is not liberal. It's anti-man. It's anti-white. 
it's anti-Christian, it's anti-black man who's funny, it's anti-anybody who has a brain on their shoulders, it's anti-everything good. They have an evil, sick, disgusting, perverted, totally backwards and twisted agenda that they hide behind women, children, migrants, politically correct, the gay community. See how they treat gay people who aren't, uh, who, who are libertarian and conservative. I did a, 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 an interview with a libertarian drag queen and she said that it was way harder. She got death threats for coming out in support of Trump and she was a drag queen from the 80s to, to now and no one cared. Like she was like, yeah, conservatives were mean sometimes, but they weren't that bad. Like the liberal mafia is harder on transgenders and, and uh, cross-dressers cross -dressers than it is on a, it, it's crazy. Like they're, they're so, everything, it's like the biggest hypocrites on the planet. We all make mistakes, but dear Lord, uh, Kyle Murray, the next one thrown under the bus, I hope, and I'll get onto it for the final story, but I hope this brings people together. The last story 